Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. We're going to be using our base colour olive out of our elements range and we've got our lovely Bob Long gel press. So let's get started. Right, we've got the colour olive here from elements. And I'm going to ink up my brayer and then I'm going to take a little bit off because it's quite a strong colour. They're all quite intense colours, very juicy ink pads, so I don't need much on my gel press. Um, that's just a base colour. And now I'm going to use my brush -os. I've got my fan brush here. And I'm going to start with a little bit of the yellow. And some of that lovely orange. And we've got some moss green here as well. I'm going to go back and pop a little bit more orange down the side here. A little bit more moss green. I am topping off first because I only want small speckles. And then lastly, I'm going to use that lovely pink. Just pop a little bit of that and we should be good to go. So I've got some of our cream multifarious card here and all I'm going to do is pop that over the top, give that a smooth over and let's see what we've got. Wow. I love this technique. You never quite know what you're going to get, but it's always something unexpected. Okay. And now taking our lovely tote stool. I'm going to ink this up in the Nocturne. And let's just place that down round about there. And give that a good press. Let it just rest a while, let it soak into the card. And now we've got our hairs. Again, I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. And I'm going to pop our lovely hair on top of the toadstool. And he's going to be watching it out. And we've got our other little hair that's going to sit at the bottom looking up at what his other little friend is doing. Let's pop him round about there. Or maybe he's too small to climb up. And there he is. 
I've got one of our hill masks here so I'm just going to take that just over the bottom of the, the tote stool and the hare's feet here and I'm using a stencil brush and this time we're going to use the twilight and all I'm going to do is just flick the brush upwards just gives it a little bit of depth down here at the bottom. Now let's see what else we need. Let's put some little berries at the bottom as well. I'm going to ink up in the twilight. foliage stamp here and this time we're inking up in Shady Lane. Now I'm going back to the twilight, I've got another little foliage stamp here and all I'm going to do is just stamp in and around that mushroom so it looks like it's sitting amongst all that lovely foliage. And we've got a worded stamp here as well, a lovely verse. I'm going to go back to the twilight. This time I'm going to stamp off as I only want this very much in the background. Using one of our fine paint brushes, I'm going to go back to the brush out and just pick in a colour that I know is going to complement the colours I've used today. I think I use the yeah, that's the Prussian blue, which is quite a nice colour. And all I'm going to do is just go around the edge and it just pulls that lovely stamp out. They're all water-based colours, so they work really nicely together. Okay. This is just a Posca pen, and I'm just going to fill in those spots on the toadstool. And again, this will just make that image stand out that much more. And let's just pop a few little dots down at the bottom here. 
few little orbs. And lastly, I'm going to pop a little bit of glitter. Let's go with the mermaid blue. So I've got my glue pen here and then I'm going to just dot a few little spots in and around those orbs. We only want a little bit of glitter. We don't want it to be too overpowering. Tap that off. And there we go. And there we have our lovely finished card using the gel press so quick and easy and what a great background well i hope you enjoyed today's demonstration guys you take care and i will see you very soon bye for now